Now, KGUN 9 on your side weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Back now to 9 on your side at 6. Want to uh, give you a quick update now. ABC News has confirmed uh, at least five deaths in New York State due to Superstorm Sandy, uh, three of whom are children. So we continue to get information coming into our uh, newsroom. We will keep you updated uh, as that is available to us. So let's take a look at this monstrosity uh, of a storm system here. First of all, its size is just enormous. It is now 930 feet. Feet wide and the strong winds that are going to be on sort of the fringes of this system by tomorrow, uh, courtesy of this high pressure that is just to the northeast of this tropical system, now a post tropical cyclone. These strong winds are going to start moving into the Great Lakes area tomorrow through Wednesday morning. Hard to fathom, hard to fathom that we're going to see some beach erosion. We're going to see lakeshore flooding along the Great Lakes on the southern end. If you will, or lakeshore uh, of the Great Lakes. That is where we're anticipating these strong 60 mile per hour gusts to move in, not only from the strong winds wrapped around the superstorm, but also from that high pressure kind of squeezing it in this direction and beach erosion. So this is going to have far reaching effects. You know, typically we talk about a hurricane or a cyclone having just coastal uh, issues, but this thing is stre stretching so far off to the west and into the Great Lakes that we are hearing reports of snowfall now in Ohio from this system. Take a look at the clouds and the rain. There's that center of circulation in the final frame of this imagery as this is now tracking to the northwest. Heavy bands of rain. We have had reports of about a foot of rain in the D.C. area. That's now shifting to the northwest. But maybe what is so strange about this system is the snow that it's now bringing on. We have had winter storm warnings associated with this post tropical system. Hard to believe, but blizzard like conditions in the higher elevations of uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Eastern Kentucky, and up to three feet of snow above the 3,000 foot level in these areas. Just a strange, strange system uh, altogether. And that flooding was made worse because of the high tide from our full moon today. That full moon, perfectly clear to see that here in Tucson. Clear skies, 82 degrees right now. 84, the high for Oracle. 77, Safford. 80 for Wilcox. Tucson climbed 89 degrees today. 89 degrees. We were actually closer to the record than we were to the average. We'll cool down under those clear skies tonight with 55 degrees. Tomorrow we'll jump to 88, if not 89 once again. So another warm day for us, but staying just below record levels. Mount Lemmon warming to 61 with clear skies. So overnight, Marana 55, 41, Wilcox 52, Sierra Vista will be at 43 in Bisbee overnight. 39 for Douglas. A look at your extended keg and nine on your side. Seven day forecast clear skies through Thursday, partly cloudy Friday and Saturday, and our temps cool down for the weekend. We'll be down to 82 Saturday as well as Sunday. Nine on your side at six. We'll be right back.